welcome to another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff from MrGoff.com. Today's video focuses on the price elasticity of demand. Price elasticity of demand, or PED for short, is the responsiveness of the quantity demanded to a change in price. This simply means if the price changes, how much effect will that have on the amount of the product that people buy? PED is calculated as the percentage change in quantity over the percentage change in price. As they move in opposite directions, this will always be a negative number. However, when we look at PED, we look at the absolute value of the result of making this calculation. A product with elastic demand will have a PED greater than one. This means that any change in price will result in a larger change in quantity demanded. A product with inelastic demand will have a PED between 0 and 1. This means a change in price will lead to a smaller change in the quantity demanded. As we have just seen, price elastic demand is when the percentage change in quantity is greater than the percentage change in price. Products that have many substitutes tend to have price elastic demand. This is because if they raise their price, their customers will just buy one of their competitors' products instead of theirs. Similarly, if they lower their price, they may be able to attract some of their competitors' customers to their own product. Have you ever changed your mind about which type of chocolate you might buy because one of them was on special? I know I have. In addition to products with many substitutes, Goods that are considered to be luxuries and big ticket items like a sports car or a holiday are also likely to have price elastic demand. Perfectly price elastic demand is a special type of elastic demand where any number of a product may be demanded, but only at one specific price. This isn't a very realistic situation, but you can sort of see an example of it when people visit price comparison sites. Once you've visited the price comparison site, most people will click on the lowest offer that's there. No one's going to go over and click on the other buttons to say, I'd like to pay more money for this, please. Price in elastic demand is when the percentage change in quantity demanded is smaller than the percentage change in price. Products that have very few substitutes tend to have inelastic demand. In addition, those that are considered essentials also have inelastic demand. Even if fuel prices rise, we still need enough fuel to go to work and run our errands. Products with addictive qualities like alcohol and cigarettes also tend to have price inelastic demand. Perfectly price inelastic demand is where the same amount of a product will be purchased at any price. Much like perfectly elastic demand, this is not a very realistic situation. However, we might see something similar to this with the demand for essential medicines that might save a person's life. They would be willing to pay whatever price is needed to acquire them. There is no need to acquire any more than the amount that they need. Unitary price elastic demand is where the percentage change in quantity demanded is exactly the same as the percentage change in price. You may be surprised to note that it looks like a quarter of a circle this is the correct graph for unitary elastic demand, which has a PED of exactly one. In practice, unitary price elastic demand is extremely unlikely. When you are asked to draw a demand curve that is either elastic or inelastic, make sure that it is clear by ensuring that the slope is nowhere near 45 degrees. It should be very flat if it's elastic and very steep if it's inelastic. Be sure to always add axis labels and a label to the demand curve itself. An unlabeled diagram will score you no marks in an exam. That brings us to the end of our look at price elasticity of demand. I've been Mr. Goff for MrGoff.com. I hope you'll join me again for another video where we'll look at the importance of price elasticity of demand to consumers and producers. Bye for now.